But this Gorilla Bow is a highly effective tool. I'd check it out. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not paid by them. I just, I've been wanting one. Corona made me get one, and I don't regret it. I'm telling you right now, this thing's sick. What's up, guys? Jake Salisman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite bicep burners for the Gorilla Bow that you can utilize lightweight anywhere and really get that pump on. Stay tuned. In New York State, our gyms are still closed, so that means the Gorilla Bow has been worth it. Now, I have done a couple videos which are on the channel about the Gorilla Bow, some upper body, uh, some overviews, some benching, and stuff like that, but one thing that's always asked about is biceps, or biceps, triceps, how do you get big arms? Now, this video is one of my favorite methods. Now, I do this in the gym also. Thanks to coronavirus, we're not able to get in the gym right now, so this is getting the job done for me. Now, that method is... After I'm done with my biceps, I, I refer to it as death. I'll go over to the dumbbells, I'll get start at 5 pounds, go up to 10, then 15, then 20, then 25, then 30, 35, 40, 45. You get the deal till you literally can't at a weight. And then as soon as you hit that weight and you fail, you, you turn around, stay at that weight, get what you can. It's got to be even. If you get two on your right, you got to get two on your left. So you keep it even all the way down, and then you'll, you'll set, like I aim for 10 going up each weight, and then 5 going down each weight, and really emphasize your form. Now, with the Gorilla Bow, this right here is the 50-pound band on here. I like doing these really light, so you can really focus on the actual movement. It's raining out, so we can't get out in the lawn. I'm going to try my best to really explain this to you guys and show you all the points, but bear with me, I am self-filming. So... Here we go. Now this is what I call death. It's my version with the Gorilla Bow. Now let me step back. So the first grip will be in the center of the Gorilla Bow and we're gonna do 10 reps. Now the form, this stays the same throughout the whole thing. So see my arm, it's pushed into my side right here, pushed in tight so you can't get out and you start using your shoulders. Let's really focus on your biceps. That's why we go light. So drive that right into your side Kind of have your elbow out a little bit, so you're about right here. And then when you're coming up with the Gorilla Bow, rotate your wrist upward. Kind of kind of like you're going to eat. So let me just show you real quick. Get something like that, get your arms ready, and then push. What you really want to focus on is that last bit bringing that hand up. Because what you're doing is you're getting that full contraction. We went over hands, now feet. All right. As you can tell, I'm barefoot today. So the first, first set, this is how I'm going to have my feet dead close together. And then for set two, I'll go with a shoulder width apart stance, just like this. Let me get centered here. So it makes it a lot more resistance on those bands. So set one, feet together. Set two, shoulder width apart. Really push those biceps. So this is how my feet are going to be throughout. Real grip like that. And then it's just, your main focus isn't going all the way up. We got, you saw the feet, set one, which will be 10. Okay, so set one with your feet dead together. We're going to start here and get 10. Then hand out, hand out, 10. Hand out, hand out, 10. And I go until I get out here. Until I get all the way out here and then really focus on those. And when you get in your wides... Kind of bring your arms in tighter, lock them right on your lats, and then keep your shoulders back so when you pull up, you're getting as much out of your bicep as you can. You're going to get some shoulder power in there. It's It just happens, but if you really drive your arm into your side, get your elbow kind of out in front of you, and pick up and pull and keep your shoulders back, you're really getting the most out of these workouts, I promise you. So keep that shoulder back, arm tight, Elbow out a little bit, and let's get it. But here we go. I'm going to turn the beat down, and uh, I'll just fast forward through all this. Here we go. Let's build some biceps. Yeah.
there's set one like i said 10 each feet dead together 10 each like this and then just go out a hand all the way out and really once you get wide kind of jam it into your lat this death workout as i call it is a great way to kill your biceps but i'm not giving them a break it's time to widen the feet really get the load so on the second set i start out wide so it's just flipped and then I'll go for eight reps because it's going to be more weight. So I'm just trying to really focus. Go slow and drive. Push that blood into that muscle. Bring in your nutrition from your diet. Push it right into that muscle. Make it grow. So really focus on the slow mind-muscle connection on your second set. So without further ado, let's get after it. Woo, baby. All right, as you can tell, I'm out of breath. Now, depending on how far you go out, you can really load it up with the Gorilla Bow. I've been experimenting with a bunch of different angles and all that. Now with the Gorilla Bow, when I first started working out with it, one thing I noticed is doing biceps, doing this exact same workout until I figured out, kick shoulders as far back as you can. You almost like lock them in and then get right here. Now I like to do that, I would see that as one set. I like to do it for three sets total and go lightweight with it because it pushes a lot of blood in your, in your biceps, which is how you grow. The more blood you can push in your biceps, the more nutrition's going to them, guys. I'm telling you, the pump is huge. You do not need a lot of weights with biceps to really grow good biceps. All right, guys, wherever you are in your fitness goals, this workout will help you. Now the key to it is toning down that weight, which is something that I had a hard time doing when I first started out lifting. I always tried to go too heavy with biceps, and I tell you right now, my biceps didn't grow. That's just plain and simple. Everything else grew good, biceps couldn't grow. Could not get arms. Until I really focused on my mind-muscle connection, really focused on the contraction, toning down the weights, and really really truly hitting my biceps now this workout right here will help you if you have a gorilla bow test it out drop a comment below let me know if you do something like this i guarantee someone does it's not really that hard it's just changing your grips hitting different parts of your your heads and it's really effective at building your biceps just build that mind muscle connection and let's grow now this is, i've only put a couple workout videos with the gorilla bow on the channel if you guys want to see more of this kind of content Drop a comment below, let me know. I would be glad to do it because this Gorilla Bow has been getting me through. As you know, we still can't lift here in New York in a gym. So we're outside. Luckily, us in the country, we don't really need a gym. But this Gorilla Bow is a highly effective tool. I Check it out. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not paid by them. I just, I've been wanting one. Corona made me get one. And I don't regret it. I'm telling you right now, this thing's sick. But I want to get a couple more workouts in. So, if you're new to the channel, smash that thumbs up button. It helps the channel more than you know. We upload Monday, which is broadhead test. Wednesday, duck load test. Friday, goose load test. Also, we drop fishing videos, workouts with the Gorilla Bow or in a gym. Maybe. And just random content on top of that schedule too. So, hit that notification bell. I don't want you to miss out. And we will catch you on the next one. I want to get some lifts in. Have a good one.